Hello my rocking stars, welcome to your reasoning book grade 5 and we are going to start with chapter number 4 that is puzzle test. So puzzles make you more more intelligent. When you solve puzzle test, your brain get activated and become more stimulated. Here we have teacher who is explaining puzzle test and it's really fun. So different types of hobbies were asked from different students and whatever choices were done and favorite hobbies of Aparna, Srikant and Pulela were recorded in the table here. Now the question asked by the teacher is that which of these hobbies is most liked by children? Can you help to give the answer? Yay! That's Painting, wonderfully done. Time to clap for you. And now we talk about different puzzle tests and blood relation questions that we'll be learning in this chapter. So when you talk about puzzle test, we get different informations and your task is to compile them together and analyze the result. So it's going to make you more analytical. And when you study the questions based on blood relationship, that makes you understand family tree, that makes you understand the concept of relation in the society and make you feel the bond of relationships. So these questions are really fun. I have some of the tips for you. Whenever you are indicating some mail, you are going to write a minus sign in front of male and when you are indicating a female, we represent it by plus sign. Generation up goes with upper arrow, generation down goes with lower arrow. Now let's discuss a beautiful blood relation puzzle. So here the question is, Rohan's mother is the only daughter of Anika's father. When you say father of Anika, the next generation comes here, Anika, right? And Anika's husband, that is male, we say he is father of Rohan because Anika is mother of Rohan, right? So we come up with the answer B, interesting and seems confusing at times. Now let's come at little high level question. Pointing to a man on a stage, Renu said, he is the brother of the daughter of wife of my husband. And the question is, how is the man on the stage related to Renu? Now let's first circle all of here. So first thing we read this of brother of daughter of the wife of my husband. Now starting from this line, wife of my husband. Who is saying this? Renu is saying this. So Renu's husband we are talking right. And after this we are saying daughter. So we say husband's daughter right. And is the brother. So we come to brother and this brother is being pointed out. So the brother is son of Renu because this daughter is also the daughter of Renu and her husband. So what do we say? We say the relation is son. That means we get A as the right answer. So a little brainstorming will bring you to the correct answer. Moving ahead, I have another example. Varun, Raj and Mohit are good in science. So let's quickly mark who all are good in science. We have marked these three students. Mohit and Raj are good in maths and English. Coming at Mohit and Raj, we are marking them good at English. Further, Varun and Raj are good at computers. So we'll mark Varun and Raj good at computers. Understood. Sachin is only good in English. Going to Sachin, let's mark him good at English. The question is, who is good in all the subjects? So let's look at the options and we come out with the conclusion 
that Raj is good at all the subjects and here we got A as the correct answer. Interesting way to solve. So proper analysis of the question take you to the correct conclusion. Let's take another question for you. Five girls are sitting in a row. Rashi is not adjacent to Sulekha or Abha. Further, Anuradha is not adjacent to Sulekha. Rashi is adjacent to Monica and Monica is at the middle of the row. Whom of the following is adjacent to Anuradha? Now let's completely first analyze the question. The first thing that comes over here is Anuradha, Rashi, Monica, Sulekha and Abha are the correct arrangement because we come to the conclusion that Rashi is adjacent to Monica. This is the thing we are getting and Rashi is not adjacent to Sulekha or Abha. So Sulekha and Abha are not among Monica and Anuradha who are adjacent to her. Further, we have Monica is at the middle. So, two people are on the left of Monica and another two people are on the right of Monica. And in this way, we have the question, who is adjacent to Anuradha? Anuradha is at the beginning and next to Anuradha comes Rashi. So, the right option is Rashi saying A is the correct answer. Another category of question is where we need to make possible combination of two sets. So we have four keys and we have six key chains. We need to make how many possible combinations could be made. That means this one key can come in any of these six chains. Similarly, same thing will happen with other three keys also. So four keys will have Six combinations, we say 4 times 6 is 24 and the answer is here. C is the right option. One more type of question, introducing a man, a woman said, his mother is the only daughter of my mother. Now the question is, how is the woman related to man? Coming to the question, this man is pointing at the woman and saying that she is the only daughter of my mother. So this directly indicates that she is talking about herself only because she is the only daughter and we say that she is mother of that man and B becomes your correct answer. One more question of similar pattern is here. Talking about Dipanshu, he has a brother Akil. Let's pictureize it. That this is Dipanshu, he is a male, we represent it with minus sign and he has one brother, Aniket, which is again represented by minus sign. Further, Dipanshu is son of Prem. So, this is another generation, we indicate Prem here, he is a male and Nitish is Prem's father. We go one generation up, we write down Nitish, again saying male. He is father of Prem. Now, in terms of relationship, the question is, what is Aniket to Nitesh? We observe Nitesh comes at second generation. So, this is Nitesh, his son and his son. And then Aniket is the brother of Dipanshu. So, we say that Nitesh is grandfather of Aniket. And so, Aniket is grandson of Nitesh. We say C is the right option. Now, coming to the exercise, we have different category of question. Here you have a wheel and one of the segment of the wheel is missing. We have to put some alphabet here so that some word is completed. So, just keep trying different alphabets and we observe that if I put here N, I get A double N O Y I N G. That means very annoying, isn't it? Now let's try it for another word. So we have to keep trying different alphabets and let's see what word do you get. Very nice, that's coaching. So we put O here. 
Let's move further and we have other category of question. Some names of students and types of pens are given. And how many different combination of one kind of pen and one student can be formed. We did it in the example. So just count how many pens and how many students. And here you got the right answer. Keep trying more questions based on the same pattern and explore. Just remember, practice is a success mantra. The more you practice, the more confident and outstanding child you will become. So don't give up. Now further we have more questions related to blood relations. And after doing these questions, we have a situation given in which Ravi and Kunal are good at hockey and volleyball. Then Sachin and Ravi are good at hockey and baseball. Gaurav and Kunal are good at cricket and volleyball. Gaurav and Michael are good at football and baseball. So first create a table. Mark the names of the students with the hobbies. And then based on that table. So once you have created a table, you will be easily able to answer these questions. Just learn the skill. Be confident and make sure you are going to answer the questions correctly if you work with patience. That's the success story. All the best.